in other words, we need, as a movement encourages you or me or Yvonne to define ourselves, we deal with our similarities and then we must deal with our differences and the differences that are not being dealt with or provided for. Now, once we deal with those differences that aren't being provided for, we do it in a context that says, hey, then we can use these differences without, we don't have to eradicate them, we don't have to, you know, wipe them out, we also don't have to remain with them. There is a total larger picture, and that's how I see it. In other words, I'm talking about the creative use of differences. Caribbean-American writer, radical feminist, and civil rights activist Audre Lorde is remembered as the black feminist lesbian mother poet who thrived in exploring womanhood. The Audre Lorde Project and Gay Reunion in Our Time gathered to pay tribute to the visionary poet and activist. Audre Lorde's work has gained acclamation from generations both young and old. One of the issues that um, Rio Circle addresses for older LGBT is isolation. Um, as we get older, we're not as apt to be out and about, and we stay home and away from uh, friends and family. We lose a lot of friends and family. It is the acclamation of her work that has brought together two generations to focus on the liberation of the LGBTQ community. The younger generation poses as the energetic youth capable of carrying change and the older generation providing wisdom to pave the way. But it's just as important to have um, activities and discussion and, and, and real meaningful work together with multiple generations because we have so much to learn from each other. And I think sometimes we stay away from each other because we think, oh, you know, older people, they're not going to understand, or younger people, their music is different or whatever. But once you start talking and then you're in the same room together, so much magic and richness uh, happens with the exchange. Because also, Grio means storyteller. And that's just what happens when you get the different generations together. You, you tell your stories. And, and when you do that, you can't help but make a connection with each other. When we talk about intergenerational uh, change, um, I think it's important to remember that youth are not the leaders of tomorrow, that youth are doing the work now, that youth are in this right now, and that we're doing good work. And it's important for organizations like Rio Circle, and, or even organizations like Fierce, and organizations like Audre Lorde Project to come together because there are legacies that need to be passed on. There are legacies, there are stories. Um, and experiences and lives that we need to, as youth and as leaders, as present leaders and leaders of tomorrow, not to knock that. Rising death but a day of celebrating survival and um, we need to know how we have survived, we need to know how we've come to this point um, in order to keep going, in order to fight these issues. Um, I know it's a cliche to say, but how the hell are you gonna fight for a future that you can't envision? So. Drowning their children down at the river to escape slavery. My soul see Palestinian women sacrifice their bodies as bombs. My soul see queer trans POC fighting policing and hate crimes in New York City, finding the rage and the love to keep us here. This is the OG Lord birthday celebration, and the good thing about collaboration is you must know your past in order to make it to your next future. And that could sum it up in one word. These creative differences were felt through a powerful night of poems and performances in tribute of Audre Lorde. Embracing creative differences in the celebration of life is exactly what has been the legacy of Audre Lorde as she continues to inspire generations to come.